Casey Dean and you're watching Why Tell Me Why. Do you ever wonder why you get dizzy when you spin around? We have the answer for you. Whoa. The reason people get dizzy when they spin round and round and stop relates to the fact that it's a very unnatural movement and our bodies are not designed to deal with that type of movement. Normally, of course, when we move, we move quickly, we turn our head quickly, we look up, we look down, or we may make a quick turn. That's perfectly normal. We don't get dizzy. In fact, we feel stable. And that's because our brain has evolved to have a mechanism that allows us to keep perfectly stationary in space after we move. But if we do something unnatural like that, then we get into trouble. And the reason actually is very simple. In our inner ears, we have a mechanism it's like an uh, inertial accelerometer, which allows us to know whether our head is moving or still, or whether we're tilted. And we have three inner tube-like structures in the inner ear, behind the eardrum, which have fluid in them. And inside, there's a little sail-like structure right inside the inner tube. So when we move our head quickly, like this, for example, the sail kind of bends. And it bends some little hair cells inside the inner ear, and that relays a signal to the brain which tells us we're moving. And then it bends, and then quickly, and when we stop, it comes back. That's normal. But if we spin round and round for a period of time, this sail-like structure inside the inner ear, it's almost like a trampoline, stays in that new position, and then it slowly comes back on its own. And when we stop, it suddenly goes in the other direction. And when it does that, when we stop, we think we're spinning in the other direction. This lasts for four or five seconds, maybe a little longer. We can be very unstable, even fall down. We've all done this when we're little kids. And uh, then, then we're okay. Thanks for watching Why Tell Me Why. Now, any questions you have, you can email me at whytellmewhy at discovery.com. And I'll answer those questions for you on air. Hi, we're the Discovery News video team, and we want your videos. Your science videos, to be exact. So if you're a student doing experiments at home, or a researcher in the field, and if you have a camera, you can capture those experiments and upload them to our website. It's pretty easy. Here's how you do it. Just go to this website below, dfc.discovery.com slash news slash sidewalk science. And if they get our Bunsen's burning, we will put them online, and you will be recognized for the mad genius you really are! That's all I have to say.